1950, because of World War II, everything was in ruins. It was so severely damaged, everything. And the tower keeper got this new horn then, and he stood here, had this view, and he watched how they built this city again, like Phoenix from the ashes. This is Marcia Talman, the tower guard of St. Lamberti in Münster, the so-called city of peace. Here I will pick up the Friedensroute. The Freedom Route, a round tour of 163 kilometers between Münster and Osnabrück in Germany. In these cities, the Peace of Westphalia treaties were signed almost 375 years ago. They ended a political and religious battle in Central Europe, which had been going on for years. The bike route follows the path of the Peace Riders. Hi, I'm on my way to Germany. In the train, in some trains they have a lot of space to park your bicycle. Uh, you have to reserve it, but you have a specific number. Um, at the start or the end of the train, there's a whole compartment where you can put your bicycle. Pretty good. Um, I'm on my way to Münster now, doing the Friedensroute. I will explain you all more about it later. Um, I'm here uh, with Bert, a cyclist who's in his 70s. Um, we're going to do this together. See you later. And there is now Jessica de Korte. We just left our bags here in the lockers on the train station. Now we're going to the Raadstation, a special place where you can put your bikes safely. And now we're going to explore the city, Münster. Münster is a very bike friendly city where you can park your bicycle safely, as you can see. It's one of the oldest university cities in Germany. It has many restaurants, trendy pubs and cycling lanes. The mailman. Don't order any glass. Here's the Friedenssaal, the town hall. And there's a really important peace treaty um, signed here. So we're now in the town hall of Münster. Um, this is the Freedom Hall. Some very important decisions were made here, which ended the 30 years war over here in Germany, but also the 80 years war in the Netherlands, which it was going on between the Netherlands and Spain. And back then, 17th century, there was a lot of struggle going on between the Catholics and the Protestants. And I'm cycling the next few days the Friedens route together with Bert Sitters. He's a Dutch world cyclist, quite known in the Netherlands. And he knows a bit more about this, so I'm going to ask him a few questions now. Het was dus het jaar um, 1648. En het was een heel gedoe hier uh, tussen Osnabrück en uh, Münster. Want hier zaten de katholieke delegaties en in Osnabrück de protestantse delegaties. En die waren hier in deze zaal maar aan het vergaderen, vergaderen, vergaderen. En ondertussen waren de resultaten en er moesten ruiters weer naar Osnabrück toe om het daar aan de protestanten uit te leggen. En daar moest dan weer vergaderd, vergaderd, vergaderd worden. En gingen al die stukken weer terug hier naar Münster. Nou, dat was eindeloos heen en weer gerij over die historische paden. En deze historische paden gaan wij nu fietsen.
a while you've got this this pause and then you can listen to the story it's in english german and in dutch my language frank choose the language and listen it's red how long do i have to do this oh no it's green that's not english that's german completely more than completely have we been devastated the mad and clarion the bold invaders horde the mortar thunder voice the blood anointed sword have all men swept and work and store annihilated the towers stand in flames the church is violated the strong are massacred the ruin of council board our maidens raped this war is raged on for 30 years in all of germany even longer for us but consider this now spain and the netherlands have already made peace it has been ceremoniously proclaimed the town hall of münster Eleven more uh, stations to go. <laughs> Good for your arms. Near the small city Tecklenburg, we suddenly made an old stagecoach from 1894. Yes, Tecklenburg. Tecklenburg. Come, hello. Einmal und zwar spiele ich mal einfach das Signal Schnellpost. Stellen Sie sich eine staubige Landstraße vor, wo der Vierspänner ankommt und eine Kutsche so groß wie unsere neue jetzt in der Halle, das war auch so Schnellpost. <laughs> so that was a nice uh, meeting. <laughs> we just saw them here on the road. So, uh, yeah. Interesting. We're going back in time, I guess, on this trip. <laughs> so there's another one. Welcome to the Peace Route. Here we go. Ja, ich weiß das. Ach. Not much further and I will finally reach you. Hey Lengerich, you surely saved me a ride or two. In 1644 delegations of the warring parties arrived in Münster as well as in Osnabrück. Like this, some of the parties could get out of each other's way. Also, some difficulties concerning the record keeping could be avoided. Oh. Just arrived in the Osnabrück, that's another pea city. <laughs> so uh, we'll learn a bit more about that. Um, it's also known for its coffee. There's a lot of nice coffee places here. And in one of them, at Barosta, they make their own coffee. So, uh, well, I love coffee. So I'm going there now, put back. So basically we have our raw coffee over there and then for around 20 minutes, we uh, put it in, the, in this uh, roaster, uh, roaster to get it roasted at the perfect 
um, and the humidity and so also the perfect temperature. And then here I have some of our uh, Redlinger mm -hmm. mix. As you can see, if you want to come and see it quite clearly. It's one of those very nice Arabica beans that are well rounded and very big. So very nicely uh, in a mild cappuccino. So apparently they won a, a prize by a, a German magazine that they were one of the best uh, coffee makers in Germany. So uh, let's see. The thing is, I actually already had two espressos, but I didn't film it, so I already know it's very good. It is. It's nice. So this is the piece hall of Osnabrück, and it's very quiet. There's no one in here. Like in Munster, there were quite a few tourists. There was a guide. And Lots of stuff happening, you have to pay in as well. And here there's like, the, the door is closed and you don't know really that you can visit it. And of course it was as important because in both town halls they had representatives of different countries who were discussing everything together. And um, in between those town halls messages would go on horses and uh, spread the messages, you know, spread what was going on, ask questions. And, uh, it took five years, I think, five years of them talking before in uh, 1648, finally, they came to an uh, arrangement. After a beautiful cycling day, we make it to our hotel in Badlar. Oh, sind die eher in Abrindes Houses? War ich früher mal. Jetzt ist es die Tochter. Wow, a lot of bikes. Badlar is a renowned saltwater spa. Since 1620, the healing power of salt water has been used for rheumatism treatments to strengthen the heart and for blood circulation. So, it's time to treat those muscles. Just behind the hotel, I find the Erlebni Skur Park, where you can totally relax. Ow. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> oh, wood. I'm walking on the shoeless trail now and all these different materials you feel under your bare feet. They're supposed to be good uh, for your concentration, for example. Ooh. Ooh. Uh. Wood. Uh oh, I don't like this. <laughs> this is painful. <laughs> Ow. I think it's uh, glass. I think so. That's crazy. Ow. My feet are so sensitive. <laughs> ow, ow. It's very good for your relaxation. So I'm pretty relaxed today. <laughs> After the massage and everything. I felt like I wanted to sleep. I had a breakfast, after that I had a second breakfast. And now I have 50 kilometers to go. This is the map by the way, there is a map of the, let's see, always fighting with a map. See, there's a map of the, the route as well. I'm here now, Badlar, going 
<laughs> to Münster. It's uh, 50 kilometers. If I like to skip the last part, I could take the train in Tal to just see uh, how it goes. I'm cycling on my own today. Bert had a little problem with his bike. The route is also signposted pretty well. The signs are a little bit small though, and so and in towns you have to be, you know, you have to really look at the signs. Oh, I use GPS myself in my phone. I just love that. I imported it from a website. It was, uh, it was really good. For, oh, and there's also the high meters. First day was flat, second, third day hills. Today, flat again, so I can take it easy. And the weather is amazing again. Let's rock! We are carefully watching the streets whenever we hear about a bunch of troublemakers roaming about. Being warned like that, we do it just like our forefathers have for hundreds of years. I'm in Telgte, just heard the end of the story. This is the last one. <laughs> I've, uh, I've done a lot of arm training on this trip uh, as well. Um, so that's good. Telgte is also a very uh, pretty town. Having a quick look and then move on to Münster, the last 15 kilometers up the Freedom's Road and then uh, back on the train. I hope you all liked this video. If you did, Please put your thumbs up and you can subscribe below here, it's totally free. And uh, well, see you in Münster. I made it with the bike, got all my luggage back. I actually got luggage transport on this route, pretty cool. So I only had my small green bike bags. Now I've got the huge ones, as you can see, with my wheels um, ready to go to the train. So um, yeah, thank you all for watching and uh, hope to see you next time. Happy cycling, bye. Hey, but what about Marcia Talman, the Tower Garden Münster? Hello. I met her, yes. So you're the Timurine. Yeah. That's correct. Hello. And she came on the back. It's cool you come by bike, of course. <laughs> <laughs> so you're the Timurine. Hi, Martje Thalman, yeah. Timurine from Münster. Since 2014, I'm employed by the city on the tower of St. Lambert's Church. And we're going to do 300 steps, she just right. said. Yeah? Okay. And then we'll do a peace signal. The signal of peace is very traditional within okay. Münster. Ah, cool. And you can see so far now, the view is excellent. I love that. This is only one tone, one note. And at nine, it's three times three, because that's nine. Nine o'clock, nine toot. At okay. 10 o'clock, 10 times toot. <laughs> and so on until midnight. What is it called? Does it, does it have a special it's my name? Horn. It's just the keeper's horn, horn or okay. something like that.
do you have some fans who come here every every night? <laughs> yeah. I know quite a lot of people living around here by yeah. now. <laughs> All right. That's so nice. Yeah. I think it um, it shows so good. It expresses the feeling you get when you are standing on the tower, looking over the city, watching all the people going, people going to sleep, and then put the lights out, and uh, night is falling, and it it goes quiet in the city, and it's so nice. Those <laughs> words in the song, I really like it. Ich hab die Welt verlassen und stehe auf dem Turm. Ich kann die Sterne fassen und sprechen mit dem Sturm. Ich banne die Gespenster und lebe fern dem Spott. Der Wind pocht an mein Fenster und spricht vom lieben Gott. Bye bye. Thank bye, bye. you. Have a nice trip. Have a good night of work. <laughs> Thank you. Well, that was fantastic. <laughs> what an experience. Unfortunately, like, okay, I've got a great job. <laughs> so, um, sorry, but as a tourist, you can't go up this tower. But, of course, you can be outside listen to it and wave and uh, do, please wave because what she does standing here every night <laughs> blowing that horn to spread the message of peace that's that's really cool